There's something that you don't see us do uh, ever on the show is uh, really do something with black guns. And uh, we're going to be doing a hog hunt coming up here pretty soon with Aaron Moore and some other guys that we're, we're using the black guns. And Aaron is with Laser Light. You've seen me use Laser Light foresighters for years. And uh, they are now making a laser sight for handguns. And this is a, it's a Glock, this particular caliber. It's a 40. And this is my gun. On the hog hunt, you're going to be seeing us use uh, tens, but uh, Aaron, I want you to show them uh, putting the laser on and then bore sighting. Show how easy okay. it is. All right, real, real quick and simple. Uh, most of these, most of these pistols or uh, other other guns have a cross rail right here. This is our subcompact version two laser. It has an integral cross locking bar right here with a tool free, quick detachable design. What it does is that cross locking bar will lock into this cross lock slot right here on the rail of the Glock. So you loosen up the mount, it snaps on the place. You can tighten it down with your hand and go shooting, or you could take something simple as the casing of a bullet, tighten it down for extra durability, Okay. and you're ready to go. All right, now the laser, that we just attached the laser on here, mm -hmm. okay? And that laser, that particular color is red. Right. Okay, as you can see, that's a red one. And it has the on off switch, it, it stays on until you push it to turn it off. Okay, but now how do you bore sight it? Okay, well the laser itself is fully adjustable. It has uh, windage and elevation adjustments. One is here mm -hmm. and one is on the bottom right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you take the provided Allen wrench and you adjust it left or right or up and down to correspond to bullet impact. Okay. Now the best way to show you where the bullet impact is, is with a laser light laser bore sighter. Mm -hmm. This happens to be our green laser bore sighter. It's easier to see. It's, it appears a bit brighter to you. All you do, you use our system here, uses these arbors that connect on the back, expand out to fit tight inside your barrel. Mm -hmm. We have this one set up, it slides inside your barrel, push it all the way in, turn your laser bore sighter on, and then you would turn your gun sight on. And see this dot here, this is your barrel, this is your bullet impact. Mm -hmm. You would move this red dot to that green dot. Now you're lined up to set up for your first shot. Then you go out to the range, and make sure that, that is where the bullet is hitting. You can adjust if you need to, but that's about it. Okay, so what on a handgun like this for personal defense, how far away would you suggest getting that lined up? Whatever you're comfortable with, there's many theories on it. One would be side in at 25 yards, then anything from 25 yards and less, you're usually dead on at. The FBI statistics say that 21 feet and under is the maximum range that a handgun incident may happen. Okay, here's something I wanna tell you. On, on the show that we're gonna be doing, using Glocks and uh, the laser light that's on it, you're gonna see a lot of action, a lot of action. These aren't hunting handguns. These are handguns for personal protection. Law enforcement and military use them, but we're gonna be using them hunting, and we're gonna be doing it to show you if you think you're a good shot. <laughs> if you think you're a good shot, I think that uh, you would be amazed how challenging it is to shoot a, a personal defense handgun and do it properly. And especially when you get rigged out, you put a bore sighter in there and your laser on there, and you get it sighted in, I think you would be surprised. But you'll like that show. Aaron, thanks. And uh, if y'all want more information on LaserLight, we have a direct link right off our website to laserlight.com.